Right, we're here pretty early on a Sunday. We're here pretty early on a Sunday and um, come really to look at used, used vans. We had a request to look at a Wild Axe Ilara, which I can just see down there, so I'll have a look at that. But we come so early that most of the vans are locked up They're anyway. Locked up. So I think it's toasted cheese sandwiches, isn't it? It's possibly, yeah. Yeah, but, but vans like that. Yeah, so, yeah. Water cruise, that's £25,000. That's a star dream, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we'll, have, we'll perhaps have a look at that one. It's a real lounge, isn't it, that one? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was all the rage when we started. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very yeah. nice. So this is the Wild Axe Ilara on the Mercedes. It's brand new as it's on the new Sprinter. It says please ask to view so we'll have to come back and have a look at that. But yeah, that'll be good. Got no plates on it yet. Right, so I just sort of come across this one as a Bolero. It's a 09 registration. It's a Bolero 600EK end kitchen. That's about £32,000. So let's have a look. Yeah, so it's got 46,000 miles on the clock, so it's been well used. It's 3.2 3 tonnes, under 6 metres, 5 speed manual, and it's front double pull out. Let's have a look inside. A very familiar looking kitchen there, isn't it? Yeah. Fridge is here. Yeah. Mm. That's right. The shelves need replacing. But, uh, that's okay. Yes, uh, the the wonderful plastic <laughs> drainer. <laughs> yeah. Sink cover. And it's got electric hot plate. Okay. There's a microwave in here as well. A little slidey, um, slidey thing. It's probably magnetic, isn't it? It's a big deep cupboard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You've got well, it's been converted into what looks like a bottle holder there, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Oh, that's your TV. That's your there. TV point there, isn't it? Yeah. And a big workspace here. Most of them have the fridge here, don't yeah, they? And yeah. they have a cupboard over here. Yeah, so, so I think you've got your cupboards over here, haven't you? Yeah. You've got a slidey out thing. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. And a little cutlery drawer there. Yeah. That's different. And the controls up the top there. And lots of cupboards. That's five cupboards in here. Bit like ours, the front here, isn't it? So you've just got this bit at the front here with these pockets. They're quite useful, aren't they? But mm. sometimes miss having a cupboard up, up the front. It's very sort of period um, yeah. colour sofa material. Isn't it? Yeah, wonder what they like to sit on. Well, it's still got a fair bit of spring in them. Yeah, it's not yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Nice blinds. Yeah, it's not in here. It's not that much different from our one, is it? And uh, it's what five years older. Yeah, it's got the big drawer at the front. Oh yeah, we like that, don't we? Yeah. yeah. People always going about cup holders, but you could fit a load of stuff in that drawer there. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got your pull-out bed here. Yeah. Yeah. Still quite a price though, isn't it? Thirty-two thousand. You think, yeah. So it's coming up to ten years old. Isn't yeah. It? Look at that. That's nice. Yeah, it's a really big wardrobe and sort of shelves at the bottom. You got all your power stuff in there. Is it? Oh, well, is that what's at the top? What's it there? Yeah. Anyway. So they're not really good shelves that you can use, are they? Well, half a shelf. Half a shelf. <laughs> 
<laughs> get all up behind it. This cupboard still feel feel fairly solid. It's a wet room, isn't it? Yeah. So you've just got you've got the walk-in wet room. So you've got a sink, loads of mirrors. Everything seems quite familiar to us. The little cup holder, which we never use. <laughs> There's your shower, and that closes off across here. The toilet at the back, which is no, just okay. It means you create the cubicle in the middle. And what looks like a big cupboard. That's quite a big locker there. I can see that getting wet though. Yeah. Yeah, mind you, it looks all right. I haven't said that. There's like a, a roof light there. And they put some straps on the door to stop it going all the way back, haven't they? Which is clever. Hmm. It's done a fair few miles, hasn't it? Forty-six, hasn't it? Yeah, so it's been well used, and it's in good condition. Versing camera. It's a clip-on reversing camera like ours. Yeah, very nice. Twin sofa. Gives you mm. loads of space, doesn't it? Great for having people around. Yeah. Get two, three on here. Yeah. I quite like this. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, we found the table. So, what an awkward place there. Yeah, well, I think that's why a lot of them have the fridge. Over here and yeah. the table there, don't they? Yeah. That's right by the door there. Yeah. Control panels all up there. Yeah, it's alright. It's held its family, hasn't it? 32,000. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a Auto Cruise Star Dream here. And this is 30,700. Can't see what plate it's on there. Let's have a look. 20,000 miles, so it's not done a huge number of miles. And it's a 5.8 registration, so 2008. One or two things that need doing is that someone's managed to break the electric thing there. And that, we had this problem. With this graphics. The graphics yeah. coming off. I know. So you'd probably want to change that. Put tow bar on it. Big tow bar. Not sure where the pipe sticking out is at the back is, but ah, looks like it was on a higher fleet. Yeah. So why is it? Yeah, no, you'd want to take those off and get get it uh, wrapped. Let's have a look inside. Handles broken. Well, it's surround for the handles broken. Well, this is very, <laughs> very noughties, isn't it? <laughs> and the cupboard up the top. I always like this cupboard at the top. You can put, fit quite a bit of stuff in there. It goes quite, quite a way in. Right, this brings back memories. This does for us. Younger. Two years yeah. younger than the one we had. Oh, yeah, so yeah. It, it's more familiar yeah. to Big us. Again down there. Tables here, and you've got the seat that you can sit there. No, it's not bad, that's not bad. You can put your coffee there, can't you? Yeah, this is just a drawer. Yeah, drawer and cupboards. And that's all, yeah. That's your truma in there. Yeah. You've got frosted glass cupboard up the top. Your yeah, bottle, your you bottles remember that, those. don't you? Because for your bottles and yeah. glasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that colour as well? I think. Yeah. Dark red. Dark red. You can't really see it on the oh, camera. Yeah. <laughs> Do because I remember this. Yeah, trying to keep it clean. Yeah. Yeah. They've not done a bad job here, have they? What's the cooker like? Electric hot plate. You always had these um, things at the side, the flaps, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Which were supposed to protect it from going out if it was breezy. Yeah. yeah. Completely unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> Cutlery drawer. 
That's a draw, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, I mean, you seemed to get that, didn't you, on these uh, autocruises? They, they like putting drawers in. When they did the Bentley, remember the people who ran autocruise did mm. Bentley, didn't they? Yeah. Everything yeah. had a drawer on it. That's right. There's your hanging space, nice and deep. Mm. Somewhere to store your step. And the familiar looking fridge with, oh, that, yeah. with that trim, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was the exact same fridge. Quite a nice lounge. Yeah. U-shaped lounge at the back. There's plenty of space in here. Mm. Twenty thousand pounds. Thirty. Was it thirty? Oh, seven hundred. Oh, oh, oh blind. You're looking at twenty. I don't know. Where I got twenty from. No, thirty. Thirty thousand. Thinking, I think it's thirty. Thirty thousand. Yeah. Big windows at the side. Did we have lockers? Like we did, didn't we? Without. So yeah, same on. same sort of lockers. They had those. They, do, they look smaller than. Yeah. Remember. Bit of a shame it's lost its trim at the bottom there. Okay, that's isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure they can replace that. It's same side on the other side. Yeah, he's, they've just well, they've just put stuck something on there. You won't really want to get the proper trim for that. I think it suffered from being a higher. Oh, probably, probably, probably did higher at the end of its life. A nice clock. Which is slightly skew with. <laughs> Let's have a look at the bathroom. Which is at the front. Oh blimey, this is very naughty. Let's have a look. So you've got like a park or floor. <laughs> Quite a nice looking sink. Different, I don't think I've seen that before. It looks like a, a, a toilet from a different van. And a good size shower. You've got lockers at the bottom there and there's somewhere to plonk things. Seahorse, you've got the seahorse. Yeah. Yeah. I think you'd want a few things sorted. Yeah, here. I'd get yeah, you need a few things sorted on here. I was thinking that like that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here we've got an auto sleeper Broadway, and this is a 2010, 2010, 29,000 miles, two berth, 38,600. Right, it's got the it's got the the Highline cab, hasn't it? Yeah. And the recessed awning is always nice. There's your LPG locker. Big locker on the outside. That step seems quite low, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Got the uh, flush water. That's just, I won't do that. That's your gas. I think that's your electric there. Not sure what that one is. It's that fill point. That is. It's a fill point, isn't it? That'll be electric and gas. So, yeah, quite a low step. Little pocket as you come in. Oh, these are quite nice. These cookers, aren't they? Very shiny. A double, double sink stroke drain, I think. You know these lockers haven't changed in all to sleep. I know. They still do the same lockers. Very solid though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are well built. Those lockers. Dairy microwave. What else? Drinks area, I think, but you've got the TV point in there. That's a bit of a strange area, isn't it? Mm. Good old fire. I think that's been changed, possibly. Oh, oh, a bit oh, before they used to have drinks cabinets there. You think it was just a drinks cabinet there? No, I think someone's why. changed it and put a yeah, put a microwave in there. and they put a TV point in there. Truma uh, 
ultra heat. I can never think of the name of them, that fire thing. Ours was always going out, wasn't it? Mm. Table in there somehow. I'm not quite sure, it goes behind that bit there. A swing wall bathroom. Yeah, we looked yeah. at saw a swing wall bathroom on a new van, didn't we? Yeah. First time for ages. This is what we had in the Starfire. I hate to keep saying that, but it was nice. It was nice. You so sort you can shut yourself up in the shower. You suck, close that. Then you put this one. I won't do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> put that one there. <laughs> <laughs> And you got, yeah. like a, it's all made, made of plastic, the swing wall, isn't it? But yeah. Uh, it's, that's lasted well, hasn't it? Yeah, it seems to have done. Yeah. Someone's put a soap dispenser in there. It's a very functional bathroom as well. Oh, this, this is a nice double dining. This reminds dinette. me of that first, that Vivanti we hired, because that had that, didn't it, with the yeah. side sofa so and you, this. So big sofa at the side. Yeah. It's no, it's not a travel seat that one, is it? Not this one, no. That, those two are. Well, you've got a travel seat there. And then what? What you do is you can pull this together. Yeah, and make, make another a bed, a massive bed. bed. So you'd have a bed that's. Well, it was massive, wasn't it? Yeah. I can't remember quite what the measurements were. But no, you probably end up with a bed huge. that's like <laughs> six for eight by six for eight, wouldn't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah. And then you, there's another. There's another bed up there. Big bed. Up here. Yeah, look at that. I think when we the higher one we had, we just uh, put our stuff up there, didn't we? Yeah. Got bedding up there. Yeah, well that is a big bed, isn't it? It's a six foot bed as well. Yeah. Again, you've got period um, upholstery. Yeah, but it's not too bad, is it? It's no, it's bad. not very beige, is it? It's more no. sort of a browny orange. Yeah. It's quite nice. Sort of matches the wood colour, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a nice place to be. But this was a nice place to eat, I can remember. Yeah. Didn't we start looking at them when, when we had a bigger drive? We started looking at the Broadway again. Yeah. We said this yeah. version of it was very versatile because you, yeah. you could do that or you could sleep yeah. up there. Or yeah, and you've got travel seats and you've got plenty of space to put your feet. Yeah. So it's not too long a van, is it? No, it was too long for us at the time. I yeah. mean, that was a problem. It's about six and a half metres, I think, isn't yeah. it? Let's yeah. have a look. Yeah, so the Broadway was 6.28 metres long, so we all thought it was really long, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a van that's over a metre bigger now, haven't we? It's Longer. Right. It's quite small. Yeah. The strange thing about the uh, Broadway, I always thought the, the wheels looked a bit lost in there, didn't they? Because they've got the huge arch over it. Yeah, yeah. Better at the front. Yeah, because it's the ordinary cab, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, very nice. Yeah, so what we've got here is a roller team, T-line, an automatic. It's 27,000 miles. It's 2017. It's 5.9 metres long, so it's under 6 metres. 44,900. Let's go and have a look. Got the little garage at the back. That's the kitchens at the back there. It's got an awning. Bike rack on the back, toilet cassettes there. Reversing camera by the looks of it. They're always very well specified these. Got a little lock, Fiamma lock. And you've got, it's a lovely lounge, isn't it? The first it thing is, that always gets yeah. me with these. Yeah. It's a really nice sort of lounge. It's got, these are set up in the travel seat position, but you put the infill cushion there and you've got a, like an L-shaped lounge. Look at the chairs. Very nice. Reversing camera. It's a big shelf, open shelf at the front. Drop down bed above. I mean, we've looked at these new, haven't we, mm. at, at the show? Yeah, I think we did actually, didn't we? Yeah. And I think they're about 53,000 new, so this is 44,000. And it looks pretty new to me. Yeah, it does. 
Look at those nice slidey windows. So you've left the TV as well. This one's left a TV for you? Yep. Yeah. Six. Cupboards. Cupboards. You know why this is uh, cheaper, don't you? Not a hire vehicle, it was on a just go fleet. Right. right. Yeah. So yeah. But it's in good condition. Combi oven. Doesn't look like many people have used the oven. No, probably wouldn't, would they? And the, and the higher end, probably go out for meals every day. Use the hob. Yeah, not too bad though. There's your drop down bed. Electric drop down bed. Shall we have a look at the bathroom? So let's, uh, oh, well, let's have a look at the fridge first. <laughs> <laughs> Could have a look at the fridge. Fridge freezer. Quite a good size. Looks a bit like ours with a different front, I think. Not the same? No, it's not quite the same as ours. I don't know how much of the bathroom you can see. It seems quite dark in here, but I think it's all right. Quite a compact bathroom. Square shower. Got some nice shelves in there. Reasonable size sink. Lockers up there. But I seem to remember you've got access to the garage from here. Yeah, that's it. So you can get into the garage or reach things from the garage. There's a shelf there. Yeah, so that's why it's done so many miles, isn't it? Being on a higher fleet. Mm. I'm not so sure about this truck seat. Feels a bit wobbly. Wobbly? Oh, yeah. yeah it's probably cushions are probably not put in properly, are they? Yeah, some sort of long and. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not impressed with travel seats. Front seats look nice. Yeah. Oh, that's very comfortable. Maybe this is just in wrong. Just feels like you're going to slide off there. Tell you what, this table doesn't look all that good either. No. I think that, yeah, that goes back further, that oh, that's seat. Oh, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Le better? Less wobbly. That's wobbly, okay. Yeah. This is very comfortable. Yeah. It's a nice open lounge, isn't it? I'm mm. not so keen on this table. I'd lose this. Yeah. So this is a Swift Rio. 44,300. It's 2017. Grey upholstery. Mm. How many miles has it done? Let's see. 4,500. So, not done many miles. It's a similar idea as looking at the back. So, you know, there's that new little Bessie car. Yeah. The way that's in. Uh, well, they were copying the layouts, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it, that had this with the. Yeah, well, they don't do the Rio anymore, do they? No, no, so I think that's why that, that's appeared in the, yeah. the range. Yeah. But a full cooker and yeah. microwave. And a missing handle. Missing handle off the cupboard. Yeah. Makes it easy to open. Well, that's like our cupboards have got that, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the one you always struggle to open. There you go. Yeah. Slimline fridge. fridge. Yeah. Obviously, this makes into the bed, doesn't it? Yeah, but does that? Well, you, use which the means you've got a huge sort of cut off there. Yeah. Yeah. You want it? Except for shower, I'll let you go in there. Yeah. Can't get in there. Right. Usual sort of swift sink. Frosty glass at the back. There you go. Shower, you my word for it. It's a compact van, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. I to remind myself how much this is 44,000. Yeah. Our control panel type thing, Truma blown air, 
great thing about this is it's got no drop down bed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you haven't got much of a but, but yeah, yeah. bed, have you? It's just a shame, isn't it, about that? I suppose this is, what would that be? That would be about four feet wide there. I suppose it'd be okay. You'd end up sleeping slightly lengthways, wouldn't you? Mm. But like this one's got its bed pulls right out to the. Yeah, so that there. pulls out to about there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you're quite wide there, so I suppose you could have a dog sit sleeping there. <laughs> you could sleep on here. And I'll sleep yeah. on the chair, yeah. Yeah. Little speakers up above. That looks familiar, doesn't it? Speakers up yeah. in the thing. Yeah, I think it's a weekend van, this would be great. <laughs> Just the occasional. I wouldn't, don't think I'd want to do a grand tour or stay a long time with a bed like that. No, but no. But then uh, there might be people who are smaller than us. <laughs> <laughs> Opening sunroof. Seemed a bit weird with that other bit stuck out the other end. Uh, yeah. I suppose you could. No, no. I think anybody just want to use this as a single. I don't quite know what's going on here. A couple of screws sticking out there. Obviously mounted something on the wall there. That's the trouble when you fit anything to your van and you go to sell it. Mm. You have to explain what that does. Yeah. I presume that's for the TV, isn't it? Really? Well, that's for the TV. Yeah. What's that? What's yeah. that? I mean, it's like a space in there as well so as you could put your dvds and things in there your remote controls things yeah like that. yeah you haven't got a lot of storage have you you've no you've only got these four lockers at the front here have you got is that a wardrobe next to the fridge yeah, yeah somewhere to store your that. cushions and but the thing for the sink and the table yeah and the dratted drain i think <laughs> A little shelf above there. Yeah. It's quite pleasant in here. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's it is nice. nice that you've got this long sofa. Yeah. So for having people around, it'd be quite yeah. nice. Yeah. Because you can sit over here quite nicely. Yeah. Mind you, have a TV, a TV above your head here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mustn't criticise too much, but. Uh, they're quite innovative, these uh, Rios. The great thing about them is they're not w very wide, are they? No, that's right. They, uh, so they're almost about the same width as a panel van. Mm. And you still manage to cram all this in here. Yeah. Yeah, you could see how wide it wasn't there yeah, because it just stuck out a little bit. I think the thing that stuck out the most would be the awning. So as promised, this is the Wild Axe Ilara. Is that how you say it? Ilara? And this is on a rear wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter, which apparently they don't do, they don't do the front wheel drive on the long wheelbase. So this is a rear wheel drive Sprinter. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Look at that, Jen. Look at the seats here. They are stunning, aren't they? Mm. A little table. Little, little occasional <laughs> table. That's yeah. So you can move that, can't you? That's yeah. good, isn't it? Because you can have a little coffee, coffee table there. Look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Got a little sofa there. So you could, you could sit there to admire the view. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. No problem. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Will do. Yeah. Just take a few minutes to have a look around here. You've got a duplex combi oven, fit for duplex. It's got an induction hob, two gas burner, sink and drainer. That's a thing Flat to pull, pull out. Is that yep, that's nice. Back. Yeah, <laughs> well you hold the camera and I'll put it back, because you normally have to put both things down to get it back. That's it. So to put your boots I guess there? Just about. Just about. That's, That's nice. nice. Little cutlery drawer. Little cutlery drawer. 
and we've looked at these wild axes before and we've always mm. been very impressed with them. Yeah. Good deep drawers. This is a lovely place to sit, you know. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Just put your arm up here. Meow. Yeah. I'm liking this a lot. <laughs> I think you might want to fix that down. What have you got up here? There might be a bit of sun here. Touch screen controls up here. Various switches. There's a gasset system, so there's a LPG refillable system in here. Big washroom. Look at that. For a, for a camper van. That's not bad, is it? Hanging rail. Little cupboards, cute little cupboards here. And big thing about this now, well, it, sorry, come back, I'll come back to that. So here's your fridge. Uh, that's a Thetford unit. Dayu microwave. There's a big fixed bed at the back. just have to throw yourself in there. That's what I was thinking, you just sort of throw yourself on it. Yeah, because there's not much space either side. <laughs> well, that's, what you just, that's okay, isn't it? You just crawl in. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really deep mattress. Yeah, it's a very thick mattress, look at that. I presume this is like some space underneath the mattress. Yeah. Of oh, course, it's a heavy mattress as well, really thick mattress. Right, it's really thick. Yeah. It's very, very plush in here. White wall cabinets, white effect cabinets. Got these little cupboards at the side. Some more over there. TV point here. A little shelf to put your remote and things. And a table, proper big table. Is that under there? there? Yeah. All right, because I was wondering about that. Cause yeah, you wouldn't. You won't be able to eat off that. For... That's a coffee table, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You can have a look. See what you think. I'll just sit here. It's quite a length, isn't it? Wild camping ready, they always say that. So you could have this as a twin bed layout. I think I'd prefer that. You have a bit more space to walk in between. Well you get in between it, can't you? Yeah. So 6.7 6.97 meters, just under 7 meters. And 3,500, 2.75 meters tall and only 2.02 meters wide. So it comes with an awful lot of stuff. Aircon, reversing camera alloy wheels, <laughs> LPG. It's fully specced, isn't it? Seven speed auto, leather upholstery TV pack, solar panel. Yeah, handsome looking van. A little bit of a stealth camper as well, isn't it? It is in black. <laughs> in black, yeah. The windows blend in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's it for now, uh, for the coverage from this show. Uh, Jenny's not feeling too clever with her ear, so we will come back. It's got got a bit windy, and I don't think that helped really. Uh, she's trying to wear that hat, but it was getting very windy. Anyway, so we've we've probably filmed more than enough uh, for the show. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Hit the notifications icon, and we'll be catching up with you soon on the Bailey Autograph Tour and that's arriving this coming Friday so we're looking forward to that. So we'll see you soon. Bye then!